When your brain learns something, you immediately learn its inverse. For example, if you learn that Fido is a dog, you instantly know that the set of all dogs includes Fido. Seems obvious, right? Well, here's the kicker. Mainstream AI can't do this. In today's video, we'll explore why AI struggles with this basic concept, how to fix it, and what doors this breakthrough could open for the future of AI. The human mind excels at many capabilities where today's AI falls short. So, in this video series, I'll explore obvious features of the human mind and explain how implementing them in AI will make AI better. You don't need to be an AI expert to follow this reasoning. I'm Charles Simon, longtime AI researcher, software developer, and manager. In addition to AI work, I've developed software for several neurological test instruments and neural simulators, and along the way, learned a lot about the capabilities and limitations of biological neurons and how your brain must work to do the things it does. I founded the Future AI Society to pursue these ideas, and we're in the process of writing all aspects of this process in the open source Brain Simulator 3, and I invite you to participate in the project. Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more insights into AI and the human mind. Humans are natural learners. When you learn that Fido is a dog, you immediately grasp the relationship between the specific Fido and the general dogs. This goes beyond memorization. It's an intuitive understanding of sets categories, and relationships. Your mind doesn't just store facts in isolation. Instead, it creates a web of interconnected knowledge. For instance, when you learn that Fido is a dog, you also understand that Fido likely barks, has fur, and belongs to a category of animals that can be pets. This mental web allows us to make inferences and predictions quickly even from limited information. This understanding happens automatically because of the way your brain stores information. When you learn something new, it integrates seamlessly with everything you already know. This ability to generalize and infer inverses is foundational to how we navigate the world. It's why you can immediately infer that Fido as a dog also means the set of all dogs includes Fido. Now let's look at AI. Mainstream AI, like the models behind neural networks or ChatGPT, learns through pattern recognition. It's trained on massive data sets with billions of examples learning to predict the next word, classify objects, or generate content. But here's the problem. AI doesn't truly understand relationships. If you teach it that Fido is a dog, it doesn't automatically infer that dogs include Fido. Why? Because AI models can't use the inverse of the information it is given. AI treats each fact as an isolated data point. It operates by detecting patterns and correlations, but lacks the underlying framework to connect concepts meaningfully. For instance, AI might recognize that dog often appears near Fido in text, but doesn't comprehend why. Without explicit programming or additional training, it can't generalize or infer relationships beyond what it's directly taught. This limitation becomes even more pronounced when dealing with abstract or multi-step reasoning. For example, if you tell AI that Fido is a dog and dogs are mammals, it might not infer that Fido is a mammal. This type of layered reasoning requires logical frameworks, which AI currently struggles with. After an AI is trained, you give it an input and it returns an output based on its training parameters. The information and computation flows from input to output in one direction. 
Two-way calculation would be possible, but it wouldn't help. Interestingly, the parameter data in a neural network, being just an array of values, could be accessed in reverse. But this would rely on individual perceptrons having useful meanings, which they don't. You could imagine a brain-like neural network where certain perceptrons represent specific attributes of a dog. Then if it received an input with these attributes, it would know that it was a dog. And such a network could be reprogrammed to follow the inverse relationships so it would know that most dogs have fur and a tail, for example. But this doesn't work because today's neural networks are trained via an algorithm which doesn't associate individual perceptrons with specific attributes. For another example, if we train a neural network to accurately recognize the 10 digits, as I described in the last video, it can't describe what any specific digit looks like. Without this capability, the AI obviously can't imagine anything a necessary component of planning. Ironically, biological neurons are one-way devices. Neural pulses travel from the neuron cell body along the axon to its synapses, and information cannot flow the other way. Since your brain obviously handles inverse relationships, we must conclude that information is stored in clusters of neurons which do support these reverse relationships. This insight has a huge impact on our understanding of how information is handled in the brain and what we can expect from future AIs which incorporate these capabilities. Why is this a big deal? because so many real-world problems rely on understanding relationships and their inverses. First, an AI will be fully explainable if it can follow reverse relationships to meaningful information. It could give the reasons behind any decision it makes or answer it gives. Second, Without the ability to follow inverse relationships, no AI can infer a series of steps to achieve an objective. It cannot plan. When you plan, you visualize the results to select the best step to take. And without this ability, an AI can only evaluate alternatives in limited environments such as in gameplay. That's also why today's AI cannot create new computer programs. Because of vast training sets, many AIs know about all the programs which have been published, programs which address most of the problems a programmer might encounter. But if you need a program for something which hasn't been done before, the AI is lost. Today's AI applications are usually surrounded by a swarm of smaller apps to shore up and mask their shortcomings in thinking, common sense, reasoning, and understanding. But the underlying problem of understanding information in a human-like way needs to be solved. Sad to say, without solving the underlying problems, AI will never achieve its full potential and become universally useful. This gap limits AI's usefulness in fields like programming, healthcare, law, and scientific discovery. Without the ability to infer inverses, AI remains stuck in a state of shallow understanding. And let's not forget the ethical implications. If an AI can't reason about relationships, it's more prone to errors that could have serious consequences. So how do we fix this? The key lies in making AI more brain-like. Instead of the uncertain perceptrons of AI, neuron clusters in your brain have specific meanings. The solution is enhanced knowledge graphs. These graphs store relationships between concepts, enabling AI to infer new knowledge from existing data. For example, a knowledge graph could connect Fido, dog, and mammal in a way that allows AI to make logical inferences. Such an enhanced knowledge graph is in the Brain Simulator 3. It's called the Universal Knowledge Store. 
It demonstrates how information is likely handled in the brain and shows how inverse relationships and several other features are necessary components of understanding. Although a shift from neural networks to graphs requires rethinking of AI, the payoff will be AIs which can truly understand, plan, and provide greater benefits to us all. The ability to infer relationships and their inverses is a game changer for AI. By bridging this gap, we can unlock a future where AI isn't just powerful, but truly intelligent. What do you think? What's the best way to nudge AI toward more human-like thinking? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video insightful, hit like, subscribe, and join us for more explorations into the world of AI and how your mind works. Also, be sure to join the Future AI Society for more insights and information. And as always, thanks for watching.